A lot of wind out here this morning. It's cold wind. Cold front came through yesterday. A lot of the rivers are flooded. Uh, I'm at Melton Hill Reservoir, which is pretty well contained and controlled. Waters don't fluctuate a whole lot here. They don't really have winter and summer pool here, which is another reason I'm here today. But the main reason is, the last time I came here, uh, fish got the best of me. I got channel catted to death. Now this lake ain't known for a big cat lake, and it is mostly channel cat. And I knew that when I came. But there are some good ones in here. I've only caught two blue cat out of this lake. One weighed 43 pounds, one weighed 55 pounds. Uh, there are flatheads in this lake. It's, it's kind of a challenge. It's a lake that's either going to give you a really bad day, or if you can somehow get on fish, it can give you a really good day. I'm off the bank. I don't have the biggest choice in access. I've already made a video here last Thanksgiving. Since then, this place has been fished about 865,000 times. Probably are no flatheads left around here. Blue cat or movers. I'm hoping one is moving through to give me something to do. So I got a video for you. I got here late with four day old bait. You know, I'm a little lazy. Stayed up a little bit too late. Messed around this morning. It's about 10.30 in the morning. I know by noon the bite's gonna suck. It always does, I hate noon. Noon is the worst hour for any kind of fishing. Something about 12 o'clock. Just ain't no good. Either way, I'm here. Everyone else is out chasing deer. And I'm hoping a big catfish is near. I got a 11 on hook. And uh, I got a good mind to throw a great big chunk off that dock. Get it really deep. I'm not hitting super deep here. Channel buoys are way on the other side. So I'd like to get one bait a little bit deeper. I could throw it out off that dock. Set it up on that garbage can style of rod holder over there. Just for a bonus rod. You never know till you throw. That was most likely one of them dag blasted channel cats again. There's a lot of them in here. There's some good ones in here. A lot of these channel cats are 10 pounds in here. But it's not the kind of fish I'm after. I hit some deep water with that one. A chunk of skipjack the size of my fist on an 11 knot hook. Distance is key for me, especially at this spot with the channel drop being way over on the other end. But the wind is not only a crosswind, it's kind of blowing inshore which is taking off a little bit of distance. I'm hoping with this passing front that the fish are extremely active and moving around.
I believe that was a real fish doing that. Something besides a channel cat. Just a lethargic bite today. Even the channel cat aren't staying committed once they hit the bait. I do believe that was a real fish I got out there on that garbage can. All right, 12 noon. This is the suck hour. Nothing major yet. I recasted my garbage can bait. Something finally chewed all my bait off it out there in 50 foot of water. I got a headpiece on this time. It ain't looking good, but I'm gonna stick it out. Cause after the last time out here, I need some redemption at Melton Hill. Getting awful chilly. I'm gonna put on my Daniel Boone cap. I just got redemption at Milton Hill. That's what we're looking for right there. Something besides one of them dag blasted channel cats. He 
he got all into my reaction braid over there. I'm gonna have to untangle that up. I had a mess with my reaction braid there in my other rod. Somebody said, how come I never get tangled up running them that close together? Well, I did that time. What no world record, but it wasn't no stinking channel cat. I'll gladly take that. Trip to Milton Hill Lake ain't complete without one of them dag blasted channel kits. There's some healthy channel cat in this lake. I just wish they wouldn't hit my bait. Since the time change, I can no longer catch skipjack after work. So I've got to do it on the weekend. Today I give it a shot, got my redemption. And now I'm gonna go get me a bite to eat and I'm gonna go catch some skipjack. See if I can get a few for the freezer, a few for later on maybe in the week. This is Catfish Dave from Melton Hill Reservoir. This is a video, there was a fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. It's Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.